Hey everyone, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips and welcome to my second video in this three-part training series on using Tractor's Remix Decks. In the first video, I showed you what a Remix Deck is. I also showed you what a Remix Set is and how it works with a Remix Deck. And lastly, I explained the kind of hardware that you'd need in order to take control of them. In the second video, I'm going to show you five easy and practical ways that you can use a Remix Deck in a DJ performance. I'm not going to do any finger drumming or, you know, any professional techniques or whatever. These are going to be five simple things that you can do to get started using Remix Decks today. So let's get started. All right, so the easiest way that you could incorporate a Remix Deck into your DJ set is when you use it as a sampler. Of course, most DJ software already have sample decks built in, but the advantage of using a Remix deck is that you can organize all of the audio loops, samples, and one-shots that you have into a Remix set, which you can recall whenever you want to use them. But why would you want to use a sampler during your DJ set? Well, of course, number one is it lets you customize your DJ set. Apart from you know, playing one song after another, which most DJs are prone to do, Having your own collection of loops and samples let's, gives you that bit of personalization and customization that you, know, you don't usually get when you mix one song after another. Next, you're also able to create more impact by doing you know, very little. It's basically just well-timed presses of uh, samples that you already have. So it's just a matter of practicing when you're supposed to play them and you know, when, you're, when you want to drop them and when you want to not do anything. So lastly, it helps you make a more cohesive DJ set as well, especially if you use themed loops and samples which run from the start until the end of your DJ set, uh, used sparingly, of course. So uh, let's see, and let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So here's something that I created, uh, put together real quickly. It's just a bunch of samples that I like using. Um, here's like a riser, even samples over here. Got a crash, some impact stuff for using in transitions and all that. Got a clap and a snare as well. But let me show you this page that I like using. Here on this uh, bank of cells, I have movie dialogue from stuff, uh, from movies from like the 20th century. Now, uh, I do play Deep House sets with visuals behind me. And these visuals usually consist of film noir stuff or, you know, movies from the early 20th century, like I mentioned. Now, having these movie dialogue pieces running while I perform kind of makes it a bit more believable and more cohesive, like everything's in one theme. Let me show you what I mean. Play this right now. While playing that, you know, I can, ha I can drop something like this. The signals are broadcast as radio impulses. And, you know, space. it runs through Tractor's effects as well. I can, of course, opt to not use this if I want to, but for now, we're going to use them. The signature of every century has been in Skyline. The setting could hardly be more perfect. And you know, it, ju it just gives it a different kind of flavor compared to just playing the track by itself and, you know, grabbing a drink or something while you're not doing anything. Now, another easy way of incorporating a remix deck into your DJ performance is to kickstart it with a remix set. Why would you want to do that? Well, remix sets are basically tracks that have been broken down and separated. So that means you can add that live performance angle whenever you DJ, instead of just pressing play. Now, if you notice, I did press some of those buttons a little earlier than I'm supposed to, but they still played at the proper time. That's because Remix decks have the quantization feature, which kind of snaps the grid all of these clips. Now, a clever way of using Remix decks is to take a song, take its Remix set, and use them together in order to take the song in an entirely different direction. Native Instruments has a growing library of remix sets which you can download from their site or in partner sites like Beatport. So in this example, uh, I'm gonna use this song by Ninetos. It's called Finder. I have the original track loaded here on my Tractor Control S4 on deck B. And on deck A, I have my remix set for Finder, which I downloaded from Beatport actually. And I have it loaded here on my Tractor Control F1. Now what I want to do is, 
I don't want to finish the entire song. I want to mix out right before the break happens, but the problem is I don't have a drum beat going in the break. There's just a percussion loop. So what I want to do is I want to put a nice kick drum sound during that break. So what I'm going to do is I'll load up here in the middle right before the break begins. Press play. Got that going. Now play the drum loop over here. Hit sync so you don't have a problem mixing. Slowly bring two together. As you can see here, that is in time. Now I'll hit my echo feed effect for a smooth, even fade out transition. And now I can play other parts of the song. Yeah, so at this point, I can just continue playing with the remix set and, you know, break apart the song, remix it and do an on-the-fly edit. Or if I want, I could just look for another track that I want to play after this one, load it in my other deck and, you know, proceed to go and mix. So this is one way that, you know, you could add like a different flavor to the tracks that you're already playing and add that little element of surprise that, you know, your audience really doesn't know about. If you're an open format DJ, or if you play a lot of weddings and get a lot of requests throughout an entire evening, you know how much of a pain it can be to make transitions between one style of music to another if they have very, very different tempos. Now, using a remix deck in this instance can help you smoothen out those transitions by applying an effect in between the transition of those two songs. Like you could put a down shifter or like a riser, put in reverse, and you know, these things can help you bridge from one musical style to another. Let's try it in this instance. On one deck, I have an EDM song, which is uh, 130 BPM. And on the other, I have a hip hop song, which has 100 BPM. So obviously, we're not gonna be able to do any kind of beat matching with this unless we you know, make extreme BPM changes, but we're not gonna do that right now. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to mix out of the EDM track onto the hip hop song by applying a transition effect in the middle. I'm gonna play the EDM song in deck C and then transition over to the hip hop song in deck B. Play it near the break. Play my transition effect. Do a reverse here. and then transition over to the hip hop song. So you know, that's just an example of what you can do. I'm sure you can come up with your own ways or you know, your own unique style in doing those transitions. But that is one example that you could use. All right guys, so one last thing that you can do with Remix decks is you can make your own mashup using bits and pieces from songs in your own music library. Kind of like making your own little Frankenstein. So let's take a look at what I did right here. I prepared this ahead of time. I chose three songs that I like got some uh, drums, synths, and bass lines from these three songs, uh, recorded them using the loop recorder, dropped them into a remix set, and also put some of the loops and one shots that I had in my own production library, just to spice things up a little. So let's see how that sounds in a performance. All right, this is the first sample that I got. Let's play the next one. So far, so good. Let's try this top loop that I got. Yeah, sounding good. Of course, the challenge here is trying to make everything sound good without, you know, being too muddy because you're adding basically a lot of different musical layers to an already existing song. All right, let's try a transition to that other track now. So that's one way that you can create your own mashup on the fly using stuff that you already have lying around in your hard drive. It's just a matter of preparing all of this stuff ahead of time so when you go to a gig, you can just hit all of these buttons accordingly and according to the way that you practice, of course. Alright, so I hope those five techniques inspire you to get on those remix decks. 
In the next video, I'm gonna explain some of the techniques that I showed you earlier. So again, thank you. I'm Joey for Digital DJ Tips. Do head on over to digitaldjtips.com for the full training article.